This is the Terramaster D1 SSD Plus. I'm installing the Crucial P3 NVMe SSD in here, which you can see when I open it up. And while this isn't the very fastest SSD on the market, it's faster than this enclosure can even use, which is exactly what you want. Let me explain. So let me put this back together with the included screwdriver and the screw that is built in. Okay, this is hard to say, but this enclosure supports PCIe Gen 3 and Gen 4 NVMe drives in the M.2 format. It connects over 10 gigabit per second USB-C, which caps out around 1000 megabytes per second in real world speed. So throwing a 7500 or 10,000 megabit per second Gen 5 drive in here wouldn't make any sense. You're limited by the enclosure's interface, not the drive. That's why I went with this Crucial P3 Plus. It's a Gen 4 drive that's rated up to 5000 megabytes per second, which means it operates well above what this USB-C port can handle. So that means you're never going to have to wait for the memory to catch up with the connection. There will always be memory in there moving faster than the connection can handle, which means you never have a slowdown. Crucial also has a great reputation for reliability, which matters when you're carrying projects around. Once you've installed the drive, you've got a blazing fast portable drive. I use it for video editing and resolve, for transferring raw photo files, and even as a backup drive. I've had no issues with the speeds or thermal throttling, anything like that. The reason the enclosure looks like that is because these are really heat sink fins, and so when you put a drive in there and it gets hot, this dissipates heat. Some people, when they get a drive with external fins like this, will hold and say, wow, that feels really hot. It must be hot inside. But what's really happening is that the heat from inside is being dissipated. And so when you touch it, what you're feeling is the heat that is not affecting the drive inside. So if you touch it and it feels warm, that's what it's supposed to be doing. It's bus powered, which means you don't have to plug it into a power supply. And it's tough enough to toss in a camera bag without even thinking about it. I bought this model when I took a photo trip to Australia and I needed to have a fast reliable drive on me to back up my photos and my videos. I also did a lot of 4K and some 8K video editing on this drive while I was there and had no problems with it at all. If you need external storage that keeps up with your creative work, this setup is great. Here's a pro tip. When you get a drive, always use the cable that comes with it because the cable is rated for the full speed of the drive. If you take any generic USB-C cable, plug it in here, you're only going to get the maximum speed of that USB-C cable, which is not as fast as the cable that comes with the drive. This are in the description below. And if you like these quick capsule reviews, please like and subscribe. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss. And as always, thanks so much for giving this a try.